Hello everyone, Argon Matrix here, welcoming you to episode 6 of Let's Play Zelda 2 The Adventure of Link. And last time we finished up with the second palace, and hopefully this time we'll get some way into the third palace. I don't know though. There's not really much to do between the second and third palace. Not as much as there was to do between the first and second palace, that's for damn sure. Uh, but there is one thing that we have to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then hopefully we'll be able to get on with this thing. Palace number 3 though, I don't want to do it. Man, I am so dreading it because it's the first place that you get introduced to Blue Iron Knuckles. In fact, I think the bl a Blue Iron Knuckle is the boss of it, too. And those things just annoy the hell out of me. I'm going to die more than a few times to those guys. I'm telling you right now. Mm, but before we worry about that, we got to head over here and get the medicine so we can get our spell. Which we need to enter the third palace. It's probably the most useless spell in the game otherwise, though. You only ever really need to use it to enter the third palace. And I think you might use it once in the sixth palace, I want to say. I'm not sure about that, though. I know there is one spot in another palace that you use it. I just can't remember exactly which one. Oh, so you got more of these alligator freaks guarding this medicine here. Nothing too bad, though. Oh, there's another one. I kind of forgot that there were three here. Jeez. Why are they guarding this medicine so well? I don't know. Apparently this is the water of life. I don't know what water is red, but... I guess I'll go with it. Nintendo logic and all that, you know. Man, it's been a long time since I've heard that phrase used, like, in an actual video. Nintendo logic. Jeez. Mm, I don't know, I guess it's a meme that's past its time, but... <laughs> it seems to never be past its time, because there's always Nintendo logic. Everywhere you look, there's Nint Nintendo logic. Even in real life, there can be nin Nintendo logic sometimes. Shut up about Nintendo logic, man, that's not even your thing. That's Chugga Conroy's thing, jeez. <laughs> You freak. Alright, so now that we did that, um... Normally, after the second palace, you'd be heading, of, ho heading over to Death Mountain. You'd be hoofing it over to Death Mountain in order to get the hammer. But we already did that, so we don't need to worry. We can just head right to the town and be done with it. And just move right on to palace number three. I'm not exactly sure how you're supposed to know where palace number three is. Because, like, it's pretty cryptic how you get there. I think there is someone, it actually it actually might be Error back up in Ruto, who tells you how to get to palace number three. That might be the case. Oh, heal me. What does this text box say again? I can restore your life. Cool. Alright, uh, there might be someone in town who tells me, actually. Hello, young fellow. <laughs> well, certainly not you who tells me. Alright, uh, so where's the lady who wants this, uh, water of life? Not sure. That's where we got our downward thrust. Yeah, you're gonna have to get that between palace number two and three if you haven't already. All right. What is my cat doing over? No, I don't need to talk to the magic lady. What are you doing? Don't need to stab her in the head either. Jeez. Don't be so brutal. So savage, Link. All right. Here we go. Uh, the water of life. Quick, come with me. Yay. Mm, and we're gonna learn our third magic spell. Is it? Is it? No, it's our fourth. Yeah, it's our fourth. <laughs> Man, I can't even count to four. What credit do I deserve to be doing a Let's Play if I can't count to four? Holy crap. This magic word will give you power. Nintendo power, that is. We got our fairy spell here. Jeez, is that is it really that expensive? I didn't I don't remember it being forty. I thought it was like thirty or something. Oh well. Basically what the fairy spell does though is that it turns you into a fairy so you can fly around. It can be helpful for flying over certain obstacles, I guess. Like, if there's a room where there's a bunch of pits everywhere and a bunch of monsters that can knock you into those pits, then I can see where it would be useful to, like, fly over all that crap and just not risk dying. You know, I'm gonna go see Error in Ruto, because I'm pretty sure he does tell you. I'm not... Oh, man. But you might have to talk to the guy, because I think the way it works here is that there's a guy in that town that we were just in. I forget what that town is called. But in that town, who will tell you that Error knows the way to get to Palace Number 3. And then you go up here and Error will actually tell you. But I'm not sure if Error knows unless you've already talked to that guy. I'm just going to check anyways because I rarely ever see anyone do this. So going to be unique here, I guess. Unique physique. Basically, I think all he's going to tell me is take eight steps south of King's Tomb, which I already know, but... Uh, might as well just show it off. Make it more continuous here. Alright, this is Error's house. Yep. Let's see. You're going to tell me? I am error. No, he's not gonna tell me. Damn it! 
Oh, well, I'm pretty sure that he will tell you, though. So, I might have cut the, all this out, I don't know. Just for the efficiency of time, because we're already up to five minutes here. Unless I cut some of that out. Oh, yeah, but basically, someone is supposed to tell you to take eight steps south of King's Tomb, and that's how you're going to get to Palace Number 3. Or that's how you're going to uh, find the path that leads to Palace Number 3, anyways. Uh, what is today? I think it's the 28th of November today. Yeah, it should be, because on the 30th, I'm getting my graduation photos taken. And that's on Wednesday, so... It would make sense for today to be the 28th, because today is a Monday. Man, my sleep schedule's been all screwed up. <laughs> I know I've taken, like, a complete 1-8. Oh, crap. I didn't mean to do this. You don't want to get into an encounter in, <laughs> in the frickin' graveyard here, because all these guys are so annoying. Oh, my goodness. Just get out of here. <laughs> that was bad. Okay. This is King's Tomb, though. I'm pretty sure. Is it? This is King's Tomb. Great. And we just head eight steps south, and yeah. All right, and prepare your downward thrust here, or those are just gonna fall right on top of that guy and take some damage. Minimal damage, but damage nonetheless. Uh, here's the fairy spell in action. You can't like defend yourself. You can't like hurt anything as in this fairy form. You also don't heal yourself, which would, which would be awesome, but that would be a little bit game breaking, I guess. Of course, the life spell in itself is practically game breaking. But game breaking in this game is just <laughs> normal survival in another game. Alright, uh, can, yeah, I can do this. Okay. What was I saying? I was saying about my sleep schedule. Yeah! I don't know why, but like, uh, two nights ago, I had this, I had this very horribly long sleep. It was a 19 hour sleep. I'm not even kidding. And that's just the, like the most unhealthy thing ever. And so, tonight when I tried to go to sleep, I couldn't do it, because I would woken up at like 7pm in the in the night. And like, that was like when I started my day, so I didn't get to go to bed until like 3am. And even then I wasn't tired, and it took me forever to fall asleep. And I woke up today and I had this horrible headache. I'm just gonna... crap, watch over that, yeah. That statue seems to be an iron knuckle more than the other ones usually are. I don't know. It still it still could be like a magic jar sometimes, but it usually seems to be an iron knuckle more than anything. Yeah, but I woke up today and I had this horrible headache and my stomach was hurting. It was like a stomach punch. And it was just absolutely horrible. So I actually got to stay home from school today, which was kind of nice, but I mostly just slept through the entire school day. Just to... And now I think my sleep schedule is back on track. Dude, oh my god, I'm dead. <laughs> How did I lose that much life that fast? Oh my goodness. I need to start paying attention to the game here. <laughs> Stop talking about your sleep schedule. No one cares, man. No one cares. Nobody knows the troubles I've seen, either. Alright, dude, what are you doing? Oh my god, I just, like, completely lost track of everything. I just, like, totally blacked out there for a second. And as always, watch out for these guys. They look like they're warping up from the bottom of the screen in these rooms. I don't know why. Just in that one room is the only, like, is the only spot in the game that you see them do that, where they, like, warp up from the bottom of the screen. I don't know. That might not make any sense, but... Actually, they might do it in this room, too. If they are in this room. Yeah, get that key down there. You need the glove to get that key, so... You do need palace number two before palace number three. Oh crap, no, I trapped myself. Oh crap. Oh, what? <laughs> Man, that was the stupidest. Oh my god. What are we up to? Nine minutes? Nine minutes? Nine times. He's been late nine times. Or absent nine times. Dude, I hate this guy. I really. Oh my. This guy does not give me this much trouble. Just stab him in the head. Thank. Oh my goodness. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. What is wrong with me today? I'm telling you, I just, I think it's just the mindset I'm in, because I'm thinking, oh, I'm going to have to face a blue dark nut, maybe in this video, too. And just, just like, I don't want to do it, so I'm already feeling my skill deteriorate. Dude! Oh my god! <laughs> okay, I just died twice. I, I can't die anymore in this dungeon, I swear. If I die one more time in this dungeon, I, I'm just going to scrap this whole recording. I know I won't. I'll keep it in, because a lot of you guys said, wow, you're really good at this game, but no, I'm not. At least not in palace number three. Alright. Oh, there's my cat. I'm sure you heard her in the background there, because she meows so loudly. It's the loudest meow on this side of the 
world, in this hemisphere. Okay. Yeah, that's a tough jump to make that long jump. You might need to use the jump spell to make that, but... If you know what you're doing, you can jump right at the very edge, the last pixel, and you can just make it. Alright. I can't believe an iron knuckle killed me back there. That was stupid. I can't believe that blue guy killed me. That one, like, I don't even know what he's called. But that blue guy who throws the axes at you. The axe boomerangs. I guess he's a boomerang, bro, but... I don't know. Alright. Yeah, you can't downward thrust these skeletons, because they're wearing them, those silly helmets with the horns. Oh, yeah. I think there's a blue iron knuckle this way. But there's also a key this way that the blue iron knuckle is guarding. Oh, yeah, these guys, too. These guys are in this dungeon. Oh, my God. I hate those guys. I really do. Even though they have, like, the easiest pattern to follow in the history of anything, they're still somehow annoying. They always seem to kill me somehow. Right, here's another iron knuckle. This one's at least red for now. <laughs> Alright, make that jump. Uh, you gotta be wary when when in these rooms where you just have, you just have to, Dude. English, motherfucker! Do you speak it? Where you just have to jump a lot, because if you jump too quickly, then you might just run into an enemy and kill yourself. Or yeah, I think there's a blue iron knuckle just up ahead here. So, you know, I'm gonna put on my shield just because I'm that scared of him. I really am. Alright, oh. And he's really not all that bad if he has pattern now. Alright, here he is. 